Muy buenos días. Es un placer y un privilegio poder presentar. Good morning. It is a pleasure and a privilege to be able to introduce President Mauricio Macri, who is with us on this 11th edition of the WEF. By um, upon the invitation of the president, we have agreed to carry out the 12th. Uh, meeting in the city of Buenos Aires, Argentina. So, President, uh, thank you very much. We are sure that it will be a very successful meeting for our region and for your country. Thank you, Red, in April. April 5, 6, and 7. Al micrófono, por favor. We have a, a first commitment, which is Mercosur, develop it, uh, promote it together with Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay. But I am very happy to have been accepted as an observer in the Pacific Alliance. It has been shown that it has been a successful alliance uh, commercially also. Uh, taking into account that these are countries that have been very successful in opening up uh, uh, markets in the Asia Pacific region. So I think it's got a lot of value for the members of Mercosur to think that our development has to all flow toward one single proposal, as is happening in other parts of the world. I am going to ask you to please introduce yourselves before asking the questions, please. Daniel Cancel from Bloomberg. I live in Buenos Aires. I wanted to ask you about the economic reforms that you are carrying out. Obviously, you faced a lot of imbalance. Uh, there have been many measures uh, taken. And as you recognized one or two weeks ago, it has been difficult, the issue of inflation, trying to reactivate the economy. And so I wanted to know which is the main risk uh, from here to the end of the year that uh, may hinder the possibility of achieving some of your objectives. Well, this is a world that is uh, full of risks and full of opportunities, too. I am relatively happy with what we have been doing in just uh, six months. I think that inflation is going down, which was my commitment. Some months there was lot of, lots of skepticism when I said that inflation would go down drastically. And some people are saying, yes, yes, it's going down. And I'm very happy because we're, we're building trust in the value of word. Uh, so now it's got to go up again. For during five, the past five years, there were no jobs created in the private sector, and now we're beginning to create jobs. We have seen announcements of investments that are that are growing fourfold uh, with comparison to last year. So I think Argentina is doing things according to our commitments. We're reducing the fiscal deficit, generating clear rules of the game, allowing for exports, allowing for the free circulation of investments. And we're doing that as a consequence of the fact that Argentina is, again, a very attractive country for investment that is going to produce jobs for Argentinians, which is my commitment. We're very committed to that. Of course, there's a minority sector that is trying to hinder, that is trying to create fear. I'm asking the Argentinians not to listen to them, not to believe them. And fortunately, that's what is happening. And yesterday, we took an extra step in this effort to create a, a, a credible society appointing two judges in the court uh, with the uh, undisputable 
personal qualities. Uh, the Constitutional Court in Argentina will continue working, will again work as it should, and we want to finish our financial conflicts with the world also due to all the offerings that we got six or seven times more than we needed. We were able to pay our debts, and that opens up an enormous field to get new financing, new investments, new growth, more work, more work, more work. Following question. Yes, please. International Broadcaster Deutsche Welle, El Cadena International de Alemania. Soon to Berlin. Yeah, good, good. By the end of this month, I will be there. Are you going to yeah, be there? Yeah, come or? around, visit uh, us. Okay, okay. It's a big I will station. Be. Anyway, I wanted to ask you a European question, if I may. You were talking about the necessity of open borders and trade and globalization. Looking at Europe, we seem to see a different development now, and there's even Brexit looming. Do you think this could have an impact on Latin America, on Argentina, if Europe splits up as it looks at the moment? Nowadays, everything affects all around the world, but I don't view that this will impact directly on us. Okay, We have just signed the, the beginning of conversations between Mercosur and U U European Union, so I, I'm quite optimistic about our, our future relation. We don't know. Everybody's looking with a lot of attention what's going on with the Brexit, okay? Otra pregunta? Sí, por favor, identifícate. I wanted to ask if in these six months uh, you have any self-criticism regarding economic issues or you said you were relatively happy. And another question in the local field, if the Lopez uh, case in Argentina is an isolated case or if it's uh, something structural uh, from the Kirchner uh, administration. I would say that uh, there's always uh, things that could have been done better, but it's not easy to have dealt with the bomb, as you called it. If we are coherent, uh, everyone was talking during the past year and a half uh, about the bomb that the new government was going to get. Obviously, disassembling that uh, bomb hasn't been easy. It's not easy to to clean the economy up. It's not the easiest thing, and I've had to, to make very difficult decisions, which were very, uh, they, they hurt me too, because I know it affected many people, but I'm convinced that these are the tools that are going to allow us to grow and to improve the quality of life of all Argentinians for everybody to have an access to a better job. Now, Lopez, uh, Beyond the shame and the embarrassment, actually, the, this issue has made all Argentinians feel very angry. It has to do with a bad way of doing politics. Uh, fortunately, we Argentinians decided we wanted a change, and we think that politics should be handled by public servants, people who are willing to give, to build, and their satisfaction, and their, whose satisfaction consists of seeing that everybody is getting what they were promised. I work uh, all day long thinking about how can I help Argentinians to do better. And uh, different from those people who just decide to loot, who decide that uh, politics is a way of looting. And many people are going to have to do some self-criticism, deep self-criticism in the immediate future. And for many years, many years, uh, it's many years of bad practices that maybe transcend uh, these 12 years. These 12 years it worsened. And uh, we have a different scale now, but I think there's a deep change now. 
that requires a deep self -critic self criticism. Excuse me, we only have a few minutes left. We are going to take three questions. Patty, we offered you at the beginning. We're going to take one, two, three questions. And if we have time, maybe one fourth one. Do you think so, President? And uh, we will put them together and you give just one answer for the sake of time. Okay, three by one. You were saying that you were expecting for the coming years uh, income for $4 billion in investments. What type of investments and what are your expectations for the entire year regarding investment? Can you introduce yourself, please? Al microfono, por favor. Mr. President, how do you see the situation in Venezuela, the Venezuelan crisis? Uh, third question, and that's it. So, Altiano Lin from Primera Página. Mr. President, at the end of the panel with President Santos, you talked about a commercial or trade agreement. What would you be interested in negotiating with the Colombian government? Well, a fourth question, okay. President Marco Buitrago from Red Más Noticias, I would like to ask you on behalf of all my colleagues, what are going to be those exports? Did they all vote that you asked the question? Okay, very democratic, yes. Democrats, democracy in 10 seconds. What are going to be the exports and the imports between Colombia and Argentina to strengthen what you were talking about with President Santos? Well, the investments that we are expecting for this year and the coming years are initially with the, uh, with the countryside in the rural areas, a uh, great investment because we are going to grow our production in communication. We're lagging behind uh, the networks. It's incredible. Uh, our communications work terrible, so we want lots of new investments. You've got a wonderful service here in Colombia. Uh, and as President Santos said, the, the, the fiber optics, uh, broadband, and energy, energy, both renewable and conventional energy, we are going to get lots of investment. Venezuela, I see it. Uh, in terrible shape. I'm very concerned. Uh, we cannot accept that level of violation of human rights in our region. We have to be solidary with the Venezuelan people. Uh, at this point, the Venezuelan people are experiencing a terrible situation, and only their only solution is if there are elections this year so that the Venezuelan people can choose who is going to rule their country. And regarding Colombia, well, we have many possibilities because the exchange is very low right now. Uh, I have committed as part of the peace process to send people to provide technology and development to increase uh, agricultural production and livestock production in Colombia. Colombia is going to recover thousands of hectares of production, and Argentina can supplement it very well. And in the meantime, we can uh, provide many of the food that Colombia buys. There's an agreement with the automobile industry. We've got lots of hopes uh, there. Uh, petrochem the petrochemical industry also, oil. There are a lot of uh, possible cooperation areas. The good part about it is that uh, there is a great synergy between the Colombian and the Argentinian governments. There's great uh, affinity between Colombians and Argentinians, and we hope that that is translated into better jobs and better opportunities for both countries. Thank you, Mr. President. We have already answered that question, but uh, because we have to integrate uh, as quickly as possible in the whole world so uh, that we can offer the world an American uh, continent in peace, uh, generating jobs, uh, that is basically the objective, the way that it was planned and dreamed uh, many, many years ago by Simon Bolivar and General San Martin. Thank you all.